G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this particular video is how to convert between decimal numbers and binary numbers. So uh, sit back and enjoy. And if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. So first off in this video, we're going to have a look at what binary numbers are, the different types of counting systems, decimal versus binary. And then what we're going to have a look at a little bit later on is how to convert between the two fairly simply. But I think it's good to have a bit of an understanding just what binary actually is so you can understand what's going on. So to start off, let's have a look at these counting systems. Day to day, we use the decimal system. I'll write that down, the decimal system. And you're going to see here, this starts with this deck here, like decade. Uh, it means 10. And our base system is a base number of 10. What this means is the following. We start counting. So I'll, I'll put a, just a number down here, uh, say 37. You're going to see that units part that we have here. You have 10 numbers to choose from. You could choose from anywhere from 0 to 9. So this first particular number here in the units has 10 numbers to choose from. Then after that, we then get up to 10, and we go to this particular part, the tens part, and we have 10 numbers to choose from there, okay? So we go all the way, and once we've exhausted all those zero to nines there, okay, we would then go up to the next part of the decimal system, which is 100. So as you can see, each time we go up to a new place value, you're going up by a factor of 10, okay? And so you could go up into hundreds, and then you could go up into thousands, and so on and so forth, and that's the decimal system. The binary system, on the other hand, is a little bit different. In the binary system, we're dealing with by here. By means two. We literally have two numbers to choose from. Those two numbers are zero and one. So let's have a look at decimal versus binary. We'll just start counting in these. Now the decimal numbers, you should know these. We're gonna start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. You can keep counting on that till the cows come home, I'm sure. Now with binary numbers, we only have ones and zeros to count from. So I think when I first started learning this, I found it really handy just to think about what numbers decimally I could actually make using only ones and zeros. So the first number I could make would be a one. After this, I can't actually go up any, uh, you know, I can't go up to two, three, four, five, six. I have to go up to the next number using only ones and zeros, which is a 10. The next number using only ones and zeros after that is 11. The next number using only ones and zeros, we have to go up to 100. Uh, and five is the next number going up using only ones and zeros is 101. And so you can probably get the idea with this, okay? 111. And then at eight, we'd have to go up to the next number using only ones and zeros, which is 1000. So this is counting in binary. But there's a little pattern here that you may or may not be aware of. So you're gonna notice, first off, we have one number here, a single digit number. For two-digit numbers, we have these ones here. There is two of them. For three-digit numbers, we have four of them. You can probably guess for four-digit numbers how many we might have. You're going to see this is doubling each time. One, two, four. Maybe there's going to be eight. There is eight of these. Sixteen, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, what you almost might notice too here is we're starting with a one. And, okay, this particular two-digit numbers, they all start on the number two. The three-digit numbers start on the number four. The four digit numbers start on the number eight. And you're also gonna see the doubling effect here. One, two, four, eight. The binary system is working around that, okay? Because the binary system actually doesn't go up by a factor of 10, it goes up by a factor of two. And this helps us when we're trying to convert between decimal and binary. Say we wanted to convert the number six to its binary equivalent. We know it's 110, but I'll just start with this particular example because we know where it's heading. So I'll put the six down there, what we do first off is we start with a one and we are going to double. We're going to keep doubling up until the doubling we get would pass six, okay? So one, double of that is two, double of two is four, double of four is eight, but we don't put that down because eight has gone beyond six, we don't need to use it. Now what we do is we are gonna start on the four here and just look at what numbers we need to add to get six. Starting with a four, okay, four, plus two is equal to six, so we don't need any more numbers. And now reading from the bottom, we have a one, a one, and a zero. So this is equal to one, one, zero. And it's that easy to convert between decimal and binary. What about you have a go? Okay, nice easy number to start off with. What about you convert the lucky number of 13 across to binary? So how would you go about doing it? Well, we're gonna start out once again by counting. One, two, four, eight, we're doubling each time. And you're gonna see that 
double of eight is 16. So we don't need to go up any further. So what numbers here do we add to get 13? Eight, eight plus four is 12. We can't use the two there because we're going to go too high to 14. So we're going to put a zero there and eight plus four, which is 12 plus one more is 13. So 13 in binary is one, one reading from the bottom, one, one, zero, one. All right, pretty basic, right? What about we go a bigger number now? So what about now we convert the number 37 into binary? Okay, so you're going to start off by starting with one and then doubling up until the point we are going to pass 37. So one, two, four, eight, 16, double of 16 is 32, but we can't go any higher, we can, but we don't need to because 37 is going to get surpassed if we do that. So let's start working out what numbers we need to add to get 37, starting from the bottom here. Uh, 32, 30 plus 2 plus 16 is going to take us to our 48, so we don't want that 16. 32 plus 8 is going to take us to 40. We also don't want to go that high, so we're not going to do that either. 32 plus 4 is going to take us to 36. And you're going to probably think, okay, we need to go one more, which is going to go up here, so we don't need that two either. What's the number? It's going to be 100101. Zero, zero, one, zero, one. And that's 37 in binary. Okay, so now let's have a look at converting back from a binary number to a decimal number. We'll start with a, a nice random number. It's fairly simple to do. Okay, so 10101. Zero, one, zero, one. Okay, how do we go about doing this? Well, it's fairly simple. We are going to start by doing the following. We're going to start with a 1 here, and we're going to start doubling here. So 1, double of that is 2, double of that is 4, double of that is 8, double of that is 16. And wherever we have this 1 here, well, as you probably already gathered, this is going to be part of our number. We have 16, 4, and one. What we're going to do is we're going to add those numbers together. 16 plus 4 is equal to 20, plus 1 it's equal to 21. Pretty simple, right? What about you have a go? Okay, even bigger number now. What about we go 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And we see what this is as a decimal number. So start with a 1 here and let's just start doubling. Okay, 8, 16, 32 and double of 32 is 64 and we have a 64 here plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 and that's going to give us our answer 64 plus 16 is 80 84 86 awesome so last example here what about you convert the following number back to a decimal number so how do we do this we're going to start with a 1 2 4 8 16 32 so our answer is going to be 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. 32, 40, 44. Our answer is 45. So what did you think of that particular video? I hope you liked it. Uh, it's a really, really simple idea, but it's a really, really powerful thing to work out how to convert between our decimal and binary and back again. If you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And a big shout out. I haven't done this for a while to all my patrons. Your support is awesome. Um, if you really want to support the Tech Math channel, become a patron. I guess I'm going to do the plug occasionally, don't I? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.